Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a very first look at the latest version of Apple's 13-inch MacBook Air. Now, physically, from the outside, you open up the box, this looks a heck of a lot like uh, the previous uh, MacBook Air. And in fact, physically, it's pretty much the same box, except this guy has a backlit keyboard, something that was in the original Air, missing from the second generation, now back here again. And the other big change is, I'm going to show you right here on the side, this uh, DisplayPort jack right here in the back is now a Thunderbolt compatible uh, jack so that you can hook up a display to it, but you can also hook up Thunderbolt peripherals if you happen to run across any. There are a couple of hard drives, and Apple is going to have a really uh, nice looking big laptop uh, oriented monitor uh, later on in the summer that you can actually connect this directly to, and that's going to have an Ethernet port and a Firewire and some other jacks that through that single Thunderbolt connection you can all access from your laptop. Under the hood, the biggest change with this latest generation of MacBook Air systems is the move from Intel's Core 2 Duo CPUs to the latest second generation Core i series. That's a two generation leap for the processor. Uh, you've got Core i5 in the 11 inch and the 13 inch MacBooks, and in both of those, you can actually upgrade to the faster Core i7 processors. These are all the low voltage versions, and you've got to start with the more expensive upgrade upgraded base models for both of those in order to get that uh, Core i7 processor. As it is, just start out with a 128 gig solid state drive in the 13 inch uh, version and 4 gigs of RAM. You can upgrade that to a 256 gig solid state drive, which should be big enough for just about everybody. Uh, once you start doing that, uh, your MacBook Air can get a little bit expensive. We've still got the same uh, 16 by 10 display. They haven't moved to 16 by 9 yet on the 13 inch models. Uh, the big gigantic uh, multi track touchpad is the same. They have, however, added for the OS 10 Lion. Uh, operating system upgrade that comes with this, a bunch of new gestures that took us a little while to get used to, uh, but a bunch of them are actually pretty useful, and uh, you're going to have to uh, train yourself to use those instead of uh, some of the previous versions of these multi-touch gestures. So here's a quick peek at some of the new gestures you're going to have to get used to in order to use um, a new MacBook Air or really any Mac laptop that has the OS X Lion operating system upgrade. The two-finger scroll still works, still works really great going up and down web pages. Now in order to move a window around, it used to double tap here and move it uh, much like you would on a Windows PC. Now you just take three fingers and then you can move your windows around very easily just like that. The four finger gesture still gives you a big overview. They call this a mission control view now and it shows you all the different apps you have open and lets you set up uh, alternative desktops. The biggest change for me was uh, getting back to your desktop. You take your thumb and three fingers and then you pinch out from there and that exposes your desktop. You reverse that to go back the other way and you do that uh, reverse again and that takes you to what they call the launch pad which looks very much like your iOS, your iPad or iPhone uh, collection of apps and these are all the apps that either come pre-installed or you get through the Apple App Store. And then you just pinch the other way to get back to your regular desktop. So following the traditional Apple upgrade cycle, what they've done is they've kept the prices the same, $12.99 and $15.99 for the two different base models of the 13-inch MacBook Air while upgrading the components inside, most notably, of course, that Core i5 processor and the Thunderbolt port. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is Apple's new 13-inch MacBook Air.